Hello, Caleb here. I'm a full stack engineer at Pieces for Developers, and today I'm very excited to be showcasing to you our latest release of Live Context within the Obsidian Plugin Copilot. If you don't know what Live Context is, it's a tool that captures and processes workflow data in real time directly on your device. The purpose of Live Context is to help developers remember anything and interact with everything. Live Context is the best way to get the right information at the right time in your copilot without losing focus or compromising on privacy. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and get started on showcasing to you guys how you yourselves can utilize Live Context within the Obsidian plugin, the Pieces for Developers Obsidian plugin. The first thing you're, want, you're going to want to do is you just want to, want to click on this Pieces icon up here and you're going to, make, you're going to want to make sure that uh, the WorkStream Pattern Engine is enabled. So once I've clicked on that, you can see uh, WorkStream Pattern Engine is on, and I can go ahead and close out of that. And first things first, I'm just gonna go over to uh, VS Code where I have a project open, which is our soon to be released uh, Raycast extension uh, created by Pieces. So I just have the package.json open right now, and the package.json file for Pieces Raycast, or for Raycast extension is basically a file that just shows a bunch of metadata about the extension, basically lists out all the commands that are available, all the different capabilities, as well as different things like settings uh, and, and normal package JSON stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and just scroll through this. You can see there's some commands here uh, that are just showcasing you know, different capabilities that are available within the extension. Uh, there's also some preferences down here, which these preferences are meant for like user settings basically within Raycast. And then yeah, once I get to the bottom here, it's just uh, dependencies and some scripts, just normal, usual package.json stuff. So now once I've scrolled through all of this, what I can go ahead and do is I can go ahead and hop back over to Obsidian. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open the copilot. So in order to open the copilot, what you gotta do is you just gotta click this pieces icon here. First of all, you gotta have the Pieces for Developers Obsidian plugin installed. But there will be this button here once you install it. You can click on that and then go ahead and navigate to the Copilot tab here. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create a new conversation. And once I'm in this menu here, I can just go ahead and click on uh, the Live Context and enable Live Context. So now, once I've done all of these steps, I've enabled the WorkStream Pattern Engine. I now have turned on Live Context within my Copilot. From here, what I can do is just start interacting with live context. So what I'm just gonna ask is, you saw that we scrolled through the package JSON of the Raycast extension. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna ask uh, the live context WorkStream pattern engine to basically just like give me a description of what the Raycast extension is and maybe a description of each of the commands uh, as well as like, you know, maybe Hypothetically, we could be writing some documentation uh, utilizing the data that WorkStream Pattern Engine was able to aggregate there. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that I have GPT-40 selected, probably one of the better models. We also have uh, many models available. You can use a lot of OpenAI models. There's different Google models that are available. We recently added Anthropic as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use GPT-40 because it's probably one of the more common models that will be used by you guys. So I'm just going to say, can you please give me a description of the capabilities within the pieces Raycast extension? And now with this, it's just going to go ahead and it's going to give me, you know, each of the different commands that it was able to pick up. You know, it got save clipboard to pieces, sign in to pieces, sign out, test, uh, save selection and really it's it's very thorough it's actually able to get just about every single uh, command that is actually available within Raycast and I was able to do all of this uh, without actually adding specifically anything as context so it's really amazing it's just able to capture everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis throughout your workflow and there's really no need to go and add a file as context or try to go find that uh, specific piece of information that you need. 
it's able to happen all automatically uh, within the Pieces for Developers Copilot. And most of it happens on device. In fact, all of this can happen on device if you wanted to use, for example, an on-device LLM. Uh, the only bits of data that end up uh, getting sent to the cloud is if you are using a cloud LLM runtime, basically. So yeah, it's really fantastic, very privacy focused, and it's just an amazing, unique way to be interacting with these uh, new found AI Copilot chats and live context created by Pieces for Developers. So yeah, now that you've seen the amazing use case of live context with the, within the Obsidian Copilot, I definitely urge you to try it out and let us know how you like it. We're very excited to be bringing these capabilities to you and are looking forward to further improvements and creating more novel ways of interacting with your own personal workflow. Thank you guys for enjoying this video with me and happy coding.